We're here with world famous pinball enthusiast and tournament player, Tim Sexton, at the Orange County Fair in Middletown, New York. Woo! And he thought that before he did the tutorial on the brand new Stern Star Wars, that he should experience the force in its entirety here at the fair. Look at this, look at this, uh, look at this uh, uh, ride we have here. It, uh, supposedly if you go inside, you actually become with part of the force. The force is gonna spin you around. I need the force so I can figure out how to get high scores for Pinburg. So I'm gonna go in here, I got my four tickets. Okay, he's got the four tickets. I might be the only rider on the ride. He might be. Tim Sexton is currently experiencing the force here at the legendary Orange County Fairgrounds. He is spinning and spinning around inside, playing the latest Stern pinball machine possibly. And Lord Vader looks down upon us from the side of the ride, looking to battle against the, the sneaky Yoda. Soon, we will find the great questions answered for the tutorial for the Stern Star Wars pinball machine. Hopefully, hopefully Tim Sexton has returned with great knowledge. Here comes his assistant, Stephanie. There he is. I now have the power of the force. The power of the light side. I can levitate plastic, right? Wow. Wow, wow, look at that. So did you find the, the answers that were? I, I found the answers. It's shot multipliers. That's the key, shot multipliers. That, and uh, you survived. And Skywalker was in there. Was he? He was DJing. Wow. Yeah, he's in the middle. He's got his iPhone out. He's putting the wow. music out. He played Freebird. We well, here you are, ladies blue. and gentlemen, at the Force. And Tim experienced the Force. Hey, guys. This is Tim Sexton. I'm going to talk to you about the new Star Wars Pro Pinball Machine. We're here at Rock Fantasy in Middletown, New York, and we're running code version 0 0.85, which should be around where the code is for Pinburg. Maybe there'll be another update with some slight twi tweaks and stability. But this is where we are right now on uh, July 23rd, my mom's birthday, for the code, and I have to call her later. Right off the bat in Star Wars, you get a very similar choice to uh, Game of Thrones. You can choose who you play as. You have four characters here, Luke, R2-D2, Leia, and Han. And I would say, unlike uh, Game of Thrones, these characters aren't crazy different in terms of like the value you need and the uh, ranking between them. But if you want to see what they do, you can check it out. Luke gives you more score in Lightsaber Duel. Leia gives you an increased score in your fourth missions, which are like these final battles in all the planets. Han at which Bounty Hunters gives you increased score in Escape from Boba Head. So increased score in a lot of these modes. And R2-D2 is an interesting one. He actually makes this fan of three red X multipliers more valuable for longer. Um, in addition, you get this choose your path thing on the right. And uh, this one, uh, if you want to know more details, you can always check out the screen here. This path is very different depending on what character you pick, but not really. You usually get, you know, like complete a force bank or get some more TIE fighter progress or get some hurry of progress or get your missions progress. And as you play the game, you'll figure out which ones you want. And right away, I would recommend, and all the characters have this, to light your Tatooine missions, which is this right scoop here, because you don't want to hit that scoop three times because it's a very difficult shot. So any character you pick, I usually go with light Tatooine missions right away for my first choose your path. The other part of the skill shot, you have this roving three bank here, and you have these force targets here. You might think you just want to plunge into the force targets, but really the ideal skill shot is plunge into this bank and then down into the force targets. Now what I've noticed is if I full plunge on this game, I usually hit the bank and hit the O and the R, and I usually hit the middle spot target here. So I'm gonna try to time this so I can hit both the middle spot target and the right one on the force bank to get this collected. Oh, and it didn't go that time. So I just got the uh, middle bank target. 
right away you see me, I have a, a uh, hyperspace hurry up. I'm gonna move my X's there and lock them in and try to collect this hyperspace hurry up right away. So this is a tricky shot here, this orbit shot. It's a very tight orbit shot. Uh, there's a lot of pressure to hit it because the value can be very high the faster you hit it. And my multiplier expired, so now the pressure's off and I don't have to worry about it too much. But you got another chance to shoot that uh, hurry up and two of those hurry ups starts hyperspace multiball, which is one of the main multiballs in the game. Let's talk about our multipliers before we get started with the rest of the game. You can see I have three red X's now, and I can move around the play field with my flipper. They're a fan of three X's, and the value is at two X on the display. You can see it at the top at all times. If I move them here and I hit the button to turn them green, then you can see when I move the flippers now, they don't move. And this is important. You want to turn them off only to move them, and then you want to keep them green. Why do you want to keep them green? Because these aren't a consumable multiplier. This is a constant 2x multiplier on any of these shots. But this value can increase, too. If I hit this 3 bank here and survive it, um, you can see that the value is now up to 4x. The value increases every time you hit that 3 bank. Although it is a death shot like that, you can drain very easily on hitting the 3 bank. So generally, I would not advise just shooting that 3 bank for fun for demonstration for this tutorial. Um, in addition, and I can show you this on the plunge because I'll plunge into that 3 bank. Let me talk about my skill shots here. I'm going to light my Death Star missions to avoid hitting three shots into that Death Star there. So let's try to time this right again. Nope. Only got the first skill shot, but that's okay. So, I'm now at the 3x multiplier. The default is 2x. So, if I just wait and chill here, I keep it on 3x, keep it on 3x. There's an invisible timer running. And now when those x's start flashing, you have three seconds left to hit the three bank again to keep that going or else it resets back down to 2x. So keep hitting that three bank to keep the timer going and increase the multiplier. When you get to the maximum of 20x or a doubled 40x shot, you have to hit that three bank very consistently in order to uh, get the multiplier very high. You won't really be able to do that unless you're in multiball. Generally, I'd recommend leaving the uh, x's green either here on these three shots or here on these three shots because generally the most valuable shot is gonna be that Death Star shot but these other shots around here are pretty easy to hit. So if you're comfortable hitting these shots in the orbit, which I feel like are the easiest shots to make in the game and the ball likes to go there a lot, it's good to just have that there. But ideally you wanna have a green X for every shot. So a way I would play this game is say I wanna shoot the left ramp. Uh, is it gonna go? No, it's not gonna go. Let's shoot the left ramp again. There we go, I'm gonna turn it off, I'm gonna move it, I'm lock it in, and then I'm gonna shoot another green shot. And I'm gonna keep doing that for the duration of my game. Getting cute like this will cause you to drain, like I am, but for the sake of the tutorial, I have to kind of explain this stuff before we get into the meat of the game. So, let's, for the rest of this, let's just talk about TIE Fighters for the rest of the game, and let's go suicide into TIE Fighters. So TIE Fighters is one of the main multi-balls. As I scroll through these Choose My Paths here, I see this plus five TIE Fighters award will tell me, destroy four to start the TIE Fighter hurry up. Now this is a fun hurry up because it makes you mash your button very quickly. Try to get the skill shot going again. No, nope, only got the one. Got the ball save here. On this TIE Fighter hurry up, that target is blinking very fast. I wanna hit that target, and that's part A. So part A, let's hit this TIE Fighter target. Missed it. Hit it now. There we go, and now my button's red, and I wanna mash my button very quickly to get all these TIE Fighters on the screen. The more TIE Fighters you get, the closer you get to multi-ball. Your first multi-ball is lit at 35 TIE Fighters and 50 uh, in competition mode. So you really want to be collecting your TIE Fighters when you can. I had 14 there. And different hurry-ups will start and give you that button mashing mode. So now let's talk about the rest of the game. And I'm not going to talk about multipliers because it's too hard for me to both talk about them, focus on them, and play the game. This is a very uh, tricky game with all the stuff to manage. So I'm just going to talk about the rest of the game and what I'm doing. So I'm going to pick um, R2 for this game because he gives me a bigger spread of multipliers and I like my multipliers. I'm going to light my Tatooine missions with R2, trying to hit this skill shot once again. Okay, ball's back in play, lock in the multiplier value. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to shoot my right ramp to start my hyperspace hurry up and try to shoot the Death Star for the hyperspace shot. Collecting two hyperspace hurry ups will start 
a uh, hyperspace multi-ball. And you have to shoot them on that tricky Death Star shot. Also, getting control on this game can be a real big challenge, especially because everything's a hurry up, and you constantly feel like you're losing a lot of value. Let's see if I can get it here on that shot. Nope. Maybe one last chance. No, I'm done. So I'm out of that hyperspace hurry up. And I'm not sure how I relight my hyperspace hurry ups. I should look into that. But next time I have a hyperspace hurry up available, I'm going to try to collect it. The, one of the other main features of the game, besides TIE Fighters, is these modes. You can see my Tatooine modes are lit. Uh, three, sh three shots to any of the um, shots with these big rectangle inserts will light my other modes. Since I can play up to two modes at once, which are planets, I'm going to try to do that. So let's see if I can light Endor here. This left ramp is pretty backhandable if you do it early enough. So there's one, one more. Should light them. And now that they're lit, I'm going to try to shoot one more time to the end door shot in order to start the mode. Start the mode selection screen. You can see two of my end door modes already spotted because I'm R2 and one of my Tatooine modes are spotted. The solid ones mean you can't play them. But for the rest, I can play either one at a time, which I don't really want to do. I want to play two at a time. I'm going to play Endor 3 with Tatooine 1. I'm going to lock it in with the button. You're going to see five orange shots will fit, finish Tatooine 3. And then I want eight shots, four green shots, and another four green shots on Endor 3. Generally, when you're in a mode like this, you want to be... Well, this TIE Fighter target will be giving me uh, more TIE Fighters as well, which I'm hitting by accident. But you want to be hitting your uh, arrows with your X's on them to make sure you're getting more value out of it. Let's hit my TIE Fighter target here and let's try to get control and whale on the button. So a lot of button control here. So I'm up to 17 uh, TIE Fighters here. Let's move the shots around and hit the uh, mode shots. Got a purple mode shot here. There's a mode shot there. So very actively using my button, that's why I have it in frame. To shoot this inner orbit. Nope, oh, no, that's a TIE Fighter. And there's an Outland. Can drain very quickly in here. But we got a good start here. We're in our first two missions. We're probably pretty close to finishing uh, Tatooine 1. And my green ones too, I want to get those. So, what do I want here? 3x bonus multiplier can be very high in this game. 5% of your score is very valuable later on. TIE Fighters are always valuable. They get me closer to a multi-ball and a multiplier. So I'm going to take my TIE Fighters here. <laughs> Try to lay my multipliers on the correct shots. Let's go on the orbit. There's the orbit shot. Okay, let's backhand my... Nope. Let's not do that. And no death save there. Man, this game can drain fast. I'm trying to keep my cool as I choke in every game. <laughs> We're still in our two modes. I'm going to get even more TIE Fighters because my hurry up will start. And I'll probably be able to chain a multi-ball into these. So my multiplier is now started. And I'm going to hit the target, I'm going to wail on my button, and as I hit 35, you can see my ball saver is on. So now I'm totally safe. I'm just getting more uh, multipliers for more points, and I'm in my TIE Fighter multi-ball. Now, as you know, with Stern games, there's an add-a-ball in these games, but currently I don't have one available. But when the button turns orange, here, that means you have an opportunity to hold the button down for an add ball and I don't have one yet. And I think, I'm not sure how you light them, but your force multiplier, it might be your force targets, but eventually when you have the add balls you can hold that button down during multi-ball and get your add ball that way. So more button usage. It's a very button heavy game. Took a danger on that save. A lot of missing my death star target. A lot of hitting my posts. Let's move to this right ramp. Which I think might start the, multi the hyperspace hurry up. I'm not sure. No, it's just a green shot for the mode. 
Play mode shot, shoot the left loop, it says, for my Tatooine mode, and shoot lit shots to collect awards. So the screenshot here. Oh, man. Getting good value, though. That was a 35 million point shot, and that's a drain as I'm looking at the screen. So one more actually good game. No more explaining multipliers. Just pure game here, and this is going to be a 2 billion point game minimum. So let's start a game here. This is going to be a good game. We're going to get pretty far. We're going to have no drains. I'm going to start with my Tatooine missions again. I'm going to try to complete my uh, double skill shot here. Nope. I'm going to start by shooting my right ramp to light my hyperspace hurry up and then collecting it at the Death Star shot. Just tough to do. This right ramp will feed it, or the orbit with the loop pass. Nope. There are some lanes up top. It's rare to get in them, but there's a pop of slots up there. They don't really do too much. There's the hyperspace shot. There's another shot. Alright, we're out of control, but we're hitting shots at least. Let's loot my Endor ramp. Start with my Endor missions. Or any missions, really. There we are. So I've got Endor and Tatooine lit. We're going to see what this mystery award gives you. It can give you some nice stuff. You relight it by hitting the force targets. Starting Escape Boba Fett and my hyperspace hurry up's lit. And I'm destroying TIE Fighters. So that's actually a lot of good stuff there. So I've got two Endor missions or one Tatooine mission to choose from. I'm going to go with one and one. Shoot green shots for the, for the Endor modes. Shoot orange shots for the orange modes. Pretty self-explanatory there. Move my multipliers over a little bit. There we go, I started my next hyperspace hurry up. So that shot's multiplied already, so I'm gonna try to shoot the orbit here, and if I do, I will get my hyperspace multi-ball. If I do... No. Come on. No, that's not it either. Oh, and my pop bumpers aren't really giving me much. Okay, they slowed down the timer there. I'm gonna another uh, TIE Fighter hurry up. 21 TIE Fighters, and I think my hyperspace hurry up's done. Yep, so I didn't get the hyperspace hurry up there. So I have to relight that one to get to the multi ball. Alright, so now I'm in my mode. Shoot my mode shot like my ramp. Let's move it over here and shoot some orbits and stuff. The right ramp is backhandable, so if I get a trap here and I can just shoot the right ramp, move my multipliers over and shoot the next shot. Oh, they're not locked in. I'm trying to get them on my shots that I want to hit, like this ramp. There's one there. A lot of multiplier usage, getting decent points out of this mode because of it. Oh man, that was a nice save. Okay, down to 2x again. Still worth it for the double uh, shot value. Having a multi ball going makes it a lot easier to build up your multiplier with a lot less risk. I'm just going to shoot my left ramp, and I'm running out of time to do so, I guess. I'm not shooting it either. Alright, we're making shots now, and we're not draining. Just. The most I can ask out of this game. Let's shoot the inner right orbit. There we are. It's a fast shot back to the flipper. And I've now completed both my uh, Tatooine 1 and Endor 3 modes. So you can see the modes are lit again. Uh, but this one instead is now flashing this entire insert. What that means is when you get to the final mode of the planet, that means a multi ball play. I'm also, I gotta check my progress. I got 25 TIE Fighters, 35 will start a multi ball. I think I've collected one hyperspace hurry up. Maybe I've collected zero. I might be miscounting. I'm going to move my multipliers over to um, these three shots again. I'm going to try to play the Tatooine with Endor uh, modes. Stack them together. Knockout shield generator with escape from Tatooine. Escape from Tatooine is a multi ball. And Endor is uh, four green shots to unlock door and four green shots to finish mission. So, green and orange shots, but I've got the multi-ball going. So while I'm in multi-ball, it's not a bad idea to let this ball save 
hit this target over and over again to increase my shot multiplier value. The problem is that as I have more shot multipliers, the number of shots that are actually multiplied decreases. So the spread of shots will decrease the more multipliers you have. That inner orbit was increased, so I was 22 million for that one. So there's still good value to be had with the low spread of multipliers. You just want to make sure that you're managing the fewer number of multipliers better and you don't feel like you're getting ripped off by it. Let's see if I can move this to the orbit there. And that was a lot of points because I got an extra ball. I've got a TIE Fighter target lit for a hurry up and my red button's going to be flashing and I'm going to mash it and now I have a multi-ball going because I've collected 45 TIE Fighters. I'm back to green here. I'm in my multi-ball, my TIE Fighter multi-ball. I've got three balls coming into play. So what are we doing? We're going to hit this target a lot. We're going to get our shot multiplier value up. We're going to try to hit these uh, multiplied shots a lot for good points. 7 million jackpot multiplied by maybe 7x or something. I'm up to 500 million. Multipliers, multipliers, multipliers. If you're in doubt, shoot a multiplier shot. If you have a shot that's not lit for multipliers. Oh man, I'm running out of time on my multipliers. Yep, they reset back to 2x. Let's hit that shot anyhow. Nope. Okay, so... We're back to the base gameplay. I finished my Endor mission, so now Battle Above Endor is lit. I don't want to play it with itself. I want to use that multi-ball to play either my Hoth or Death Star missions. So I'm going to try to shoot my uh, Death Star Orbit, which is the shot I dislike because it's very tight. But it's a very valuable shot to get lit. There it is. So now I can shoot either the Endor or the Death Star shot to start the modes. If I got Hoth lit, and I didn't want to play Hoth modes, I could still hit... So let's show you that. I can light my Hoth modes by shooting the Hoth shot two more times. It says on the display, two more times to start my Hoth missions. So I'm going to do that to, to prove my point. <laughs> the escape is lit. That gives me the ball saver, which is very valuable. Save my ball there. Let's shoot Hoth. Nope. That's not Hoth. Hoth can be shot on both sides. I also call it the right inner orbit a lot. So there's four orbits on this game. Two inner and two outer. Now Hoth is lit. Now, if I shoot my Hoth shot, and I only want to play a Death Star in an Endor mode, I don't want to play a Hoth mode, I can do that. This gives you all mode selection. So this is just a Death Star mode with Battle Above Endor. And that's what I'll take. Battle Above Endor shoots orbits and then shoot Tight Fighter and then shoot Death Star. Then purple modes, all the modes are color coordinated. Shoot the four hurry up shots. Okay, shoot the colored shots and keep a green X in front of the ones you want to hit. Sound fun? Sound simple? It is. And there's my hyperspace second hurry up. So I'm now in hyperspace multi-ball. I'm going to use this opportunity with the ball save to get my value up. But also, hyperspace multi-ball is a, uh, a ball lock multi-ball, kind of similar to Ace in the Hole multi-ball, where I can keep shooting the Death Star shot over and over, and I've got so many balls in play right now. This is crazy. And I have an add a ball available on my button, when you can see it's flashing orange. And uh, I don't know what I'm doing. My, uh, my orbit's lit here. Let's move this. There we go. Oh, who knows what's going on? I'm just playing pinball here. Let's light my Death Star shot with the X. More shots, more shots. I'm down to two balls now, so I'm going to use my add -a ball like that, holding the button down, and I've got the add -a ball back. And I've turned the multiplier on the ramp. I've got 20x going. My uh, 20x shot multipliers are going. And any ramp shot, actually I need the right ramp it looks like. So let's try to move this over to the right ramp. And backhand it for 20x value. What was that? 76 million. That's good value, I think. <laughs> oh man, that ball's gone, but that was a good multi-ball there. We're up to 1.9 billion with 20x is still lit. Uh, I don't know, let's hit this blue shot. It's uh, flashing. It's a lot of points. 810 times 20. <laughs> Not a lot of points, I lied. 
get my modes going real quick. I got my 20x multiplier going. I'm gonna try to hit that hot shot as fast as I can because my multiplier is running out. There it is. What was that value? 10 million. <laughs> Less than I'd hoped. Still at 20x. Still going strong. Maybe this other loop is a bit more. 20x, shoot the orbit. What was that value? 810? Come on. Give me more points. Not all the sh shots in the mode cash in. Some of them are just building value, but I'm down to the 2x multiplier again. Shoot loops. More loops. If you say so. Now both my loops are lit, so... I think I'm still building value here. No, I'm getting some points here. There's another loop. I'm up to 64 uh, TIE Fighters. I can always hit TIE Fighters on the TV screen to kill some more TIE Fighters. Hopefully that was good points. Maybe that was good points. Who knows? I'm at 2.1 billion. Lots of points in this game. They just keep going. And I'm close. I got destroy the Death Star lit and Hawk 2 lit. So I'm almost through all my modes. So, might as well play some more modes. Shooting the Hoth shot. And really, my only choice here is going to be playing Cloud City Escape with destroy the Death Star. Complete ramps to light Death Star. Complete blue shots and targets for stormtroopers. I could do that. And my multipliers lock them in here. To a ramp. I want to hit. Got my ball saver building my uh, multiplier this way. So shoot the ram. Nope. I have an add ball lit in this multi ball as well, and I can see that because the button right below my chin is lit. I got a 7x ramp shot. I got a ramp shot I didn't multiply, which is probably a mistake. Oh no. So I gotta hit my Hoth shot here. Oh no. That's a tilt. I lost a lot of bonus there. That was a very big mistake to try to save that floaty ball. Unfortunately, I don't see how much bonus I lost, but I reckon it was at least 500 million points in bonus. So don't tilt like that, like me. Don't get carried away. So what else can we do now? Jedi training will advance our Jedi rank, which I don't really care about too much yet, but maybe I should. It can be worth a lot of points. Light mystery, uh, 3x bonus multipliers, uh, 5% of my score is 117 million, so I think I'm going to go with that. Try my skill shot here. Oh, no, didn't quite work. The second part of the skill shot. I'm still in my um, blue mode. So your multi-ball modes end when you end the multi-ball, but your uh, single ball play modes end when you complete the mode. They don't like really run out like they do on a Game of Thrones. There's a nice loop pass. Let's go for the uh, right orbit. Nope, a little early. How about the right orbit? That's it. There we go. Oh, that was a lot of points. 58 million for that shot. Okay, now I just have one Hoth mode lit. So I'm going to wrap up my Hoth modes. And I'm going to check my info first to see what else I need to do to get to um, lightsaber duel and stuff. 21 more TIE Fighters. Extra ball for missions. I got some extra ball from beating all my missions. More TIE Fighters for extra ball. My modes are pretty much done. Choose your path. This is your skill shot path. Victory medals. I'm not in victory multi-ball yet. Path the Jedi multi-ball. I need to beat Hoth. Escape from Boba Fett. More TIE Fighters. More lightsaber duel. Jedi Master. Okay, action button. That tells you all about your action button stuff. Ba ba ba. Targeting computer. Force. Lightsaber duel if I spell... Oh, C, C and E. Okay, that'll be important. So I should get Hoth plus go for my force target for lightsaber duel. My Jedi training, if I get up to Jedi Master, it's 50 million a post. Which can be a lot of points, too. Alright. And that's about it for the mode. So first I'm going to hit my Hoth shot. Well, I thought I was going to hit it, but it didn't stay. 
I don't know if that C target registered or not. Oh! It's supposed to stick in the off target. The change notes noted improved uh, ball handling there. There it is. Oh, so here we are in Hoth. It's the last mode. So I don't have an opportunity to select anything. Okay, now my E's lit for force, so I'm going to try to hit my force target here. And am I in lightsaber duel? I have no idea. But I've got a big multiplier. I've got a TIE fighter hurry up for 100 million lit if I can hit the target. I missed it twice there. There we go. Got an add ball available for me, and I probably will use it here. I have no idea what's going on. Lots of things are going. I gotta move this shot, I imagine. You can use your chin to hit it, and then backhand it here. Just hit that. Let me get my add ball going. So I can get some more uh, multiplier locked in. Fine, you should have at least one ball coming back, I think. Nope, didn't. Okay. Still an 18x multiplier on whatever. Shoot this white shot here. Oh, down to zero. Alright. Time to regroup and see what else to do. Pretty deep in the game. I don't know what I'm, I need to do. I think I need to keep hitting white shots for escape Boba Fett mode. Light missions complete bottom lanes to light hyperspace. Hurry up. Force targets to start double multipliers. Those don't help me advance through the rest of the game, so I'm not sure what I need. 12 more TIE Fighters. My missions are all done. Um. I haven't achieved Jedi Master. I'm not going to be hunting posts. I haven't done lightsaber duel. I haven't done escape from Boba Fett. I haven't destroyed any TIE fighters. I'm just going to hit force targets. Um, should I hit this white shot? Oh, okay, this is good. This is escape from Boba Fett is going. Wow, this is hard to see. I'm sure my camera might have a problem with it too. This looks like a constant hurry-up mode. Uh, hope it continues. <laughs> That's a good bo bonus, 414 million. Okay. Shoot again. I'm still in ball one, wow. I could go for Jedi training to get up rank faster. Maybe mystery will give me good stuff. I'm gonna go with mystery. And hopefully uh, the escape from Boba Fett run mode is still running when I plunge. Shoot the mystery shot. Give me good stuff, R2. Spot force targets. Light mystery again. Plus two bonus multipliers. That's fair. I'll take that. Okay, force targets to light lightsaber duel. So I want to do that. Let's go for mystery again. One more force target, I think, will complete the bank. Unless the bank's not working, which is possible on this game. I think someone mentioned their bank wasn't resetting. Okay, no. So is lightsaber dual lit? I guess it is, but I don't know where to start it. Where do I start lightsaber dual? Is it on the mystery scoop? I to hit more targets? I don't understand. Where is the lightsaber dual? Uh, maybe this is a bug, maybe this just isn't in the code, or it's just not obvious to me what's flashing. Uh, I really don't know what to do at this point in the game. Advanced rank, at least. Shoot this 
mystery. Trying to post pass to hit the mystery shot. Might as well just hit the ramp and combo it in. Or hit the slingshot and get in there. What do I do? Light mystery again? More bonus multiplier and hyperspace hurry up. So I guess I just keep hitting mystery for the rest of the game. It says my hyperspace hurry up's lit, but I don't see where it's lit either. I don't understand what's going on in this game. Hit pop bumpers. My missions are done. I gotta complete my lanes, I guess. Okay, now my hyperspace hurry up's lit. Oh, and my um, Escape from Boba Fett target's now on. The white target, so if I backhand the right ramp. There's a hyperspace hurry up. Started shooting the Death Star, would cash it in. Missing the Death Star, wouldn't cash it in. At a time. <laughs> what do I do? What do you want me to do, Gabe? Hit more TIE Fighters, but that's suicide, and I still need five more to get to my next hurry up. Okay, those, the purple shots are just combos. Which isn't a requirement for either the Victory or Jedi Multiball. Oh man, I wish I knew what to do. Sorry for such a bad tutorial. I'm not draining, so I'm gonna keep playing. Did you spell Morph already? Yeah, I, I lit the lightsaber duel, and I don't know how to but collect the lightsaber duel, how to start it. Lit. It's, yeah, it's not lit. I it I said I completed force until the E was lit, and it said complete force to light lightsaber duel. I lit lightsaber duel. And it didn't start the lightsaber duel, so I wonder if it's just a bug I've encountered in the game. Maybe I can get it from the scoop. That's my get. I'm just gonna keep hitting mystery until I get it. So I don't want this stuff. Ugh. I want modes. <laughs> I want game. All right. At this point in the game, you nail your Tie Fighter target until you get multi ball again, or you just keep looping ramps until you get more hyperspace hurry ups. Those are my only uh, suggestions for you. More bonus acts. More Papa slots. Don't. Ball doesn't go up there very often, so. Getting a lot of those. Oh, the white shot. Gets me closer to Boba Fett, I hope. Okay, so hitting a shot lights that white shot. And this advances me to escape Boba Fett, maybe? There were, maybe there progress on it, and I can't see that progress. It's another invisible. Yeah, another invisible thing. I think I'm just kind of too deep in the game at this point for you what the game the has. Yeah. So if you get here in Pinburg, congratulations. Uh, you have three and a half billion points. Good job. Maybe start shooting orbits. I've completed my bottom lanes a few times without lighting the hyperspace hurry up again, so it must get harder to light. Well, my spinner is half a million a spin, so let's just do that all game, I guess. I guess you advance that by hitting forest a bunch. Lost a lot of bonus there again. I'm lighting mystery. Come on, mystery. Come on, R2. Give me some good stuff. Thank you, Scoop. <laughs> Lovely. Oh, my TIE Fighter hurry up's almost ready. I think it will actually progress me, progress me to uh, close enough to multi-ball that it's worth shooting and not... I should just shoot the TIE Fighter target and not the bang from the right flipper. I think I have one more ball left. Oh, hyperspace hurry up. Three more for multi-ball. I'll take that. Take a bunch of hurry steps. Want 
fire's lit on it. There's that shot. And my uh, TIE Fighter hurry up's going now. Give me something good. Give me Escape Boba Fett. I see it. Ugh. Destroy TIE Fighters. Oh, this lights my extra ball. Oh, do not tilt on me, you son of a gun. There's the extra ball. My TIE Fighter hurry up's worth a lot. You cannot double that or multiply that in any way because it's a target and not a shot. So, let's hit it here. A lot of points on those. Those are like 7 million each. And there's my TIE Fighter multi-ball going. So I hit 110 TIE Fighters, actually just over 111. And now I'm in TIE Fighter multi-ball. I've got my multiplier on my ramp. So at least I'm in something now. And I've got an add ball lit. Which you can tell because the button is flashing this orangish color. I think it's orange. It's kind of looking in my peripherals, so... Not quite sure. So let's get it now. There we go. Turn the multiplier back on. Got my shot multiplier up pretty high. There's the jackpot. Okay, we got the multiplier there. Shoot my right ramp next is my next target for the um, big value. Oh yes! That's probably a lot of points for that jackpot. 28 million. I think it was multiplied by 28 uh, X. Maybe. Yeah, I got 4 billion now, so I think I'm doing the right thing, no matter what. Kind of hard to see when you're using your multipliers and when you're not. All right, one more ball of pinball jail left. <laughs> Another 200 million bonus, so don't tilt like me. And you get plus 9x bonus multiplier right away, so that's good. We're going to light mystery again. Maybe I shouldn't have picked Leia. Maybe someone else has, like, a easier way. Maybe um, Han's good because he can light uh, escape from Boba Fett on the plunge. But, shooting the mystery scoop. There it goes. Boba Fett. Boba Fett. Boba Fett. Or Jedi battle. Lightsaber duel. Yes! Escape Boba Fett is going, I think. Oh, all of my white shots are lit. Okay. I think that's just progress on Escape Boba Fett. So let's shoot my shots here. Oh, there we go. What's that? Okay, this mode's cool. I want to control so I can move my multiplier over. Locked it in. Ah! Running out of points. Let's backhand it. Oh no, I gotta move it again. There we are. Okay, orbit. Oh, missed. Okay, we're back to the middle again. Oh no. Okay, what did that give me? I beat the mode. It's done. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Now what? <laughs> Please give. I'm getting close to the wizard mode, but I don't know how to light lightsaber tool. I'm just gonna go for force targets again until I die. Alright, wish me luck. Let's check my status report again, just to make sure. It still says red on Escape from Boba Fett, even though I completed it. So the, the code must not be ready for the wizard mode. Yeah. That's my best guess. It's not at 1.0 yet, it's at 0.85. Force targets with light lightsaber duel, so we're gonna collect these. And not drain, hopefully. Okay, and lightsaber duel is... I don't know. 
I don't know. This this tutorial's gone way too long. All my points are gone in the game. Unless I can get back to something. I don't know what to do! I've been to victory multiball before and I don't know why I haven't achieved it in this game. I've completed all my modes. Okay, my uh, hyperspace hurry up slit on either my right ramp or my left orbit. So I have the uh, shot multiplied. There we go. Oh, look at that combo. That's nice. <laughs> Feels nice to do that. Uh, what else? Game, game. Where is the game? I can level up my uh, posts. Should I do that? Shoot my flashing posts. All right, R2. Wizard mode lit. Hyperspace, hurry up! I'll take that. I think I'm. I think I'm one away from the um, multi ball, anyhow. So I might as well just start it and do that cool combo again if I can. Or I'll just do right ramp to uh, the shot. And that's the end of the game. Thank God. <laughs> Tim, you're, it's definitely not ready for wizard mode. You had yeah. over 100 typewriters, and that was red, That too. was red, yep. So it's just like, what do you mean you got this far? I'm not ready. You've seen more than all of um, Star Wars at this point. That's like the full depth of the entire game, I believe, with a very good score to go along with it. So I'm happy that this is recorded well, and hopefully it will be great when I transfer it to YouTube, and everyone will know how to play so thank you for tuning in. See you guys at Pinburg, and uh, good luck. 5.4 billion. That's a decent score. That's pretty good. I've seen 9 billion from Levy, but I don't know how I get there with that situation. <laughs> star Jail? Yeah, Star Jail. So there's code .085. I'm sure more is, more is to come, more indication and stuff. The beginning of the game is there, and the multiplier rule is very key. That's my takeaway from that game. So thanks.